Well, for so many North Texans, the kitchen table has turned into the classroom where kids are working on subjects such as math, reading, and science. Yeah, so what are people doing for recess? Madison joins us from her home with one student's unexpected plan for recess time in this morning's One for Texas. Madison. Hey, good morning, guys. Yeah, I want to introduce you to an 11 year old boy named Ethan. He's from Argyle and he had a creative idea when it came to spending recess while he's distance learning. And that includes cleaning up his community. Take a look at some of the video that his mom sent us. This is Ethan. And again, he decided that each day, armed with gloves and a trash bag, he wanted to just pick up trash along their local neighborhood roads. And so far, they've walked different routes each day, and he has collected nearly 20 pounds of trash. So thank you, Ethan, for the great reminder we all needed to be community-focused even during this time of isolation. I love that he's just using what he can do during his recess time to make the community a little bit better. You know, Madison, there have been so many nonprofits too that because springtime and the fall, it seems to be when they have their major fundraisers. Well, due to COVID 19, they've had to cancel them. So, how is that impacting their bottom line? Yeah, well, it means the loss of critical funds, critical funds that they use to operate each year. And one of the local nonprofits, A Wish with Wings, they grant uh, wishes to children with life threatening conditions. And they actually had to cancel their spring gala. Now, that spring gala would have funded wishes for this entire coming year. And because it was canceled, a local business decided they were going to step up to meet that need so that local nonprofits like A Wish with Wings could continue operating. Each one of their miracles costs roughly $8,000. The day that I reached out to her, she said that just over the last few days, they've had three wishes alone come in. Um, and if they don't have this gala to raise the funds for this, I mean, it's just heartbreaking. I mean, you know, they're, they're not doing the miracles that they want to be doing either. So 38 and Vine is usually a wine bar and tasting room in Fort Worth, but with their tasting room closed right now due to COVID-19, they decided to raise funds for local charity through curbside wine sales and even wine deliveries. 20% of every purchase goes directly to a local charity and they started out with a wish with wings, but now each week they will choose a different charity. By the way, if you're not interested in buying a bottle of wine, you could also take home a cute stuffed animal for your kids for a minimum donation of $50 and 100% of those funds go directly to A Wish With Wings. So what I love to see is that these small businesses, especially local restaurants, wine bars, breweries, they're figuring out ways that even in a time where they could be very selfish with their funds because every dime that comes in they need, but instead they're still looking outside of themselves, being community focused and finding ways to give back. 